Hello, this is Ralph Camargo, and I'm going to tell you an unusual story, the story of a horse, a thoroughbred with an inferiority complex, because it seems he was born at the wrong time. It was late in August on Mr. Baldwin's farm in Kentucky, in the middle of a thunderstorm, and important news was coming out of the stall of Lady Ellen, a famous thoroughbred of the past. Congratulations, Mr. Baldwin. Lady Ellen has given birth to a fine, healthy colt. Thank you, Doctor. I think I'll name him... Stormy. Stormy. And as he grew up slim and strong, he hoped soon to become a racehorse, along with all the other young colts around him. But something was wrong. Mother, all the other colts, they're taken out every day. Exercise, train, taught how to run. Yes, Stormy, my son. They will all become racehorses, thoroughbreds. But I can run as fast as any of them, Mother. Won't I get the same chance? I'm afraid not, my son. You see, you were born at the wrong time. Born at the wrong time. In the world of the thoroughbred racehorse, the young male horses must be born in the early part of the year. Every thoroughbred colt is given the same birth date, January 1st, because that way they will all start even, each with the same age, when they start racing against each other. But what about a colt like Stormy, who happens to be born at the wrong time? Younger than the others, smaller, I'm sorry, Stormy boy. Here you are. Have another lump of sugar. I'm sorry, my lad. These are the rules of thoroughbred horse racing. You just don't fit in. You can't race. Poor Stormy. Never to be allowed to match his youthful speed and endurance against the others. Never to become a racehorse. Soon, the horses were to be sold to this famous racing stable or that one, all except Stormy. What would become of him? Why, well, hello, Stormy, my boy. Did you come to watch the workout? Off to a side, just a spectator, Stormy watched and listened while the other colts were trained. Before a race, a horse must save his energy. He must relax. Never eat too much before a big race. When you're racing, you reach a turn, lead with the foot nearest the turn. That will help you keep your balance. The other horses ran down the track, but Stormy remained at the fence, all by himself, out of things. Then came the big day. The other colts were sold to the great racing stables. Stormy was sold too, to a ranch in California. A ranch? I'm going to be a cowboy horse. Say, I wonder, does a cowboy horse ever get a chance to race? In his new home, Stormy got a close western haircut. And a partner, a cowboy named Valdez. You're a good horse, Stormy. Plenty of stamina and horse sense. Now I'm going to teach you something mighty important. When I rope a steer, a lot depends on you, on how you play the rope. It has to be just right, not too slack, not too tight. And this, too, Stormy learned fast. At the next rodeo... The winner in steer roping, Pedro Valdez of Barbie Ranch, riding Stormy, Time, 14 seconds. Yes, these were pleasant days for Stormy, except for one thing. He still wasn't getting the chance he wanted to race. I'll never get a chance to race other horses if I remain a cowboy horse. One day, a stranger came to the ranch. My name is Foster. I want to buy a smart, fast horse. Stormy's heart leaped. 
Maybe this was his chance to become a racehorse. Sure enough, the stranger walked toward him. What do you say, Stormy? Think you'd like to play polo? Polo? Thought Stormy. That's a sissy game. But when Stormy became the newest member of the famous Foster Polo Stable, he learned quickly that polo wasn't a sissy game. Both horse and rider had to be alert and tough, and the horse had to be fast as a racehorse. Stormy finished his training in time for the big game of the season. But when the game began, there he was, on the sideline. I know you're disappointed, Stormy. But this is a game for veterans, not a green polo pony like you. The game opened fast and stayed that way. Back and forth across the field drove the powerful young ponies. Some of them dropped out in weariness to be replaced by fresher horses. Would Stormy get his chance? It's the last period. They're stopping play. A signal. Yes, it's for Stormy. He's getting his chance at last. And the moment Stormy stepped on the field, he found himself in a race. Soon he was racing a tall, husky horse to the ball, lying there on the other side of the field. Now, boy, let her out. Stormy ran like the wind. Faster, faster. He reached the ball before the other horse, and Mr. Foster hit the ball right through the goalpost. Stormy had won the big game of the season by winning a race with the other horse. What's more, he had found himself, found his own special place in the world. Born too late? Stormy, I'd say you came along at just the right time. You're a racer, boy. And that's the story of Stormy, who became a polo pony. And the happiest horse in the world!